ate a lot. Uh, Got a couple minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do it fast. Uh, first off, congrats on the win, J-Rock. Um, what do you think your performance on the win over Ishe Smith? You know, I always want to go back and look at the tape before I criticize or uh, give myself too much praise. But I feel good about it. I just think I got it with my principles a little bit in the end. Uh, in the beginning, I think I was using my jab real good. And I was uh, doubling, tripping, keeping them off balance. And then when I started wearing them down, I kind of like got away from my principles and uh, gave some shots back. But uh, nevertheless, it's a good experience. And uh, that's why I came here. T. Shea Smith's hometown, and uh, uh, stepped into the challenge. You know, uh, he asked for me. You know, and I uh, wanted to show show some growth from uh, my last couple of fights, and uh, I think I did that. Just baby steps. You know? Were you surprised at how many punches he threw? He seemed to be more offensive than I used to see in Shea Smith fight. Uh, no, I wasn't surprised. You know, he's in his hometown. You know, you don't want to you don't want to just get you know lose to every single round and possibly get knocked out in his hometown. He will fight hard and fight tough. So uh, I'm not surprised A.C. Smith. He's a old, gritty veteran. He's been around the world, been around the block, rather. You know, so I wasn't surprised at any of it. What did you think of uh, his punch and power? Did did he buzz you at any point in the 10 rounds? No, nah, I don't think so. No, I just think so, at some point in time I was just letting too many go. You know what I mean? He was getting off and I was catching and so I just let too many go. And uh, I got the crowd into it. But What about he, the low punches? He got warned a lot, it seemed like. It's boxing. I ain't going. Uh, I don't think it were intentional, but uh, he's not the most accurate fighter, <laughs> accurate puncher. So uh, I didn't really. I don't think. He, I don't think it was intentional. Was tonight about uh, you know just getting back in there, uh, going ten hard, or did did you want the knockout tonight? Of course, I wanted to knock. I wanted the knockout, but I know one thing about uh, those old gritty veterans that never been knocked out. They live on that. They stand by that. So if I said if I said in the press that I'm gonna knock him out, first thing he said, oh he ain't gonna knock me out. You know what I mean? So I think that would get his mind off of off of winning, you know, so it's more like my thing. Of course I wanted to knock him out, you know, but I was more into boxing him and winning rounds and wearing him down and beating him up. But uh, the knockout didn't come. I thought I had a shot in there uh, a few times when I started going to his body, but he's crafty, man. You know, he got his hometown behind him, and uh, it was a couple bad headbutts, and uh, it was a, a punch that opened him up as well. So, you know, it was a good experience for me. Sometimes hey, I think I need it. Hey, Julian, on the, in the fourth round, I noticed you only threw, like, one right hand. Was your hand bothering you in that no, round? You know what? I hurt my hand late. I think I threw an uppercut. Okay. And it was pretty bad around the sixth round. But I know I can dominate fights on my left hand. You know, I got a, I got an educated left hand. So uh, I thought I was dominating him in the first round without even throwing my right hand. You know, uh, you look, look, at, look at you. You thought, my, you thought my hand was hurt. I didn't really hurt my hand until, my, until maybe about the seventh or eighth round. It was an uppercut that grazed off his face and uh, pushed the corner. Actually, I never, I never hurt this knuckle before in my life. It's usually the middle knuckle. But uh, I think I'm going to just go get surgery and get my hands corrected. Julian, you know, the WBC, usually regarded as the most prestigious belt out there. Do you want to fight Jermel Charlo in 2018? I want to fight any champion that's going to give me a chance at a title shot, you know. I don't have no picks. I never had no picks. I always wanted to fight the best, and I'm going to continue to try to fight the best. You know, uh, Ishe Smith is not a fight that I asked for. Actually, I was signed to fight that uh, rough, tough guy, Nathaniel Gallimore. You know, the fight was done. You know, uh, I was going to fight him, and I get a call saying Ishii Smith wants to fight. I'm like, okay. You know, I think that people think, uh, let, me, let me see how I can put this. I don't think Ishii Smith is a coward, but he's an opportunist. You know what I mean? We try to get the Ishii Smith fight, and I'm not knocking him, but we try to get the Ishii Smith fight back in 2015 after I beat, after I fought up, in, up there in Canada, Canada against uh, the guy Medina. We tried to get the fight after that. He said, oh, I, was, uh, I wasn't going to make a name off of him and all, all this kind of stuff. But after I get my first loss, so oh, I want to fight Julian Williams. You know what I mean? So I said, fuck it, I'll fight him. You know what I mean? I don't care. I'll go to his hometown. Just give me a ring. Give me some gloves. You know what I mean? I don't give a shit about the judges or the referees. Just, just let, let's fight. You know, um, it was a good experience, though. I, I appreciate his greatness. I appreciate the experience. And now uh, on to the next. Do any of those guys, uh, you say you fight any champ, but if they said, Julian, we get you any of the three champs, uh, which one would you want to fight? Any of them. I don't got no picks. I think I match up well with any of them. You know, uh, I got world-class skills. I got a uh, world-class left hand. You see, I dominated the first five rounds just off my left hand. You know, uh, I think I match up 50-50 with anybody, anybody in the world. Any last message for all the fans out there to watch your fight? Just keep following me. You know, I'm, uh, I'm 27. I'm still getting better. I'm still growing. You know, uh, me and my team, I got a new strength condition uh, coach, uh, Tony, and uh, we working, man. I'm just getting better. You know, follow me on uh, Instagram, uh, J Rock Boxing. I'm on Twitter, at J Rock Boxing. I'm on Facebook, at Julian Williams. 
And uh, let me get out of here because Vada's on my ass yeah. and they want me to go piss in this right, cup. Man. I'll give it to you guys later. Thank you. Thanks, J-Rock. Thanks, man.